Okay, we are going to start creating the next application. So create a new project. In this case, it's going to be called Android. Uh, the company domain, I'm going to call it Be Beginner because this one is one of the first application for Beginner. We are not professional yet. And continue. Okay, I'm going to choose the minimum gingerbread. Okay, a blank activity. This is going to be main activity. But this is going to be the main screen of my game. The first thing that we are going to create is the view for the screen. This is what we want to achieve. This is a screen with three buttons, one for single player, multiplayer, and scores. And it will also have a title at the top and we are going to add a gradient at the background to make it look better. Let's wait until the project is created completely. And let's start working on the view. First, go to the design tab. The first thing that we are going to do is change the app theme to a classic theme, like the black theme. This is going to make us easier to understand the, the views. Then I'm going to remove the text view. Hello world. I just want at the moment one relative layout on the screen. We are going to see how to create our view. So by that we need to know the basic components on Android. Linear layout and relative layout. These two are the basic one. With these two we can build almost every view. So let's start with linear layout. Linear layout is going to group the components in line, like the name size. For example, I have a linear layout now and I start adding components inside it, different components inside the linear layout. As you can see, they can be added by line. This linear layout has one basic property, which is orientation. So it's allow me to be uh, horizontal or vertical. I can just create a horizontal linear layout and then change the orientation to vertical. And then this is going to change me the orientation of the components. Okay, this is the first one. Linear layout, it has a basic property, which is uh, orientation. Then relative layout is the second one we are going to see. If I remove this one, I just have a view at the moment, which is just a relative layout. Relative layout allows me to add buttons in a relative position to the view. So for example, I can add a button which is aligned to the top. I can add a button which is aligned to the center. I can add a button which is aligned uh, to the right of the previous button. This is achieved by a relative layout. So when I want to create a component on Android, what I do is a component uh, modification of these two. These two layouts have another property, which is height and width. And the height and width, as you can see here, can be fill parent or match parent. These two are the same. These two mean that if I have a view and I set the, the width to fill parent, it's going to take the whole width of the parent. So this is the parent and this is the view taking the whole width. I can also change the height to be the whole width and this button is going to take all the width. This can also be also one fixed number. So for example, this can be 100 pixels and the height can be 500 pixels or 400 pixels. So you know that the layout has a basic property which is width, height, Every component on Android has these two properties and it can be expand all the view, a fixed size, or grab content, which is just take the value of the content. In this case, in this case, the the button has a text inside, so this is taking the width of the text. Okay, the next thing is the margin and padding. I'm going to add a linear layout here to explain it. I'm going to add a linear layout inside this one. The linear layout is going to be fill parent and fill parent. I'm going to change the background color of it. 
I'm going to create a color. Then I'm going to add another linear layout inside my inside my previous linear layout. This is going to be called linear layout parent. And this one is going to be called linear layout child. Okay, and the child is going to have a different color. For example, white. Okay, now I have a two layout. The problem is that this layout is taking the whole screen and this layout is taking the whole screen. So we just see this one because it's the, the one in the top. So what I'm going to do now is show you the property margin and padding. Margin means that if I add a value here, 50 pixels, this view is going to have a margin on the outside. And padding is a margin on the inside. So if I have a padding of 100 pixels, is a margin on the inside. This, ma this means that it has a margin with the component in the inside, which is this linear layout. You can click between the component and see how they are changing on Android on the view. So the linear layout ch child is inside the linear layout parent. The linear layout parent has a padding. That's why the child is a bit smaller than him, because there is a padding here. And the linear layout is a bit smaller than the relative layout because it has a margin. If we also had a margin here, this is going to be added to the padding of the parent, so it's going to be even smaller. Okay, so that is the difference between padding and margin. We have been playing with the height of the view, and you know the difference between relative layout and linear layout. With this thing, we are ready to start building our, our view.